Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. So, Larkhan here. And today we start a new topic. Alright. And the next in, in the sequence is what? It's carnal maps. Alright. So, our today's topic is carnal maps. In shortcut, it's called the K map. Alright. It's called a K map. That's the next topic that we'll be studying. It's a very interesting topic, okay? What is this K map? Anybody of you have an idea? You don't have it, okay? So I'll tell you, let me take the colors first. I'll tell you the K map is again a concept that is related to what? To logic minimization. To what? To logic minimization all right and, and you know what is this logic minimization this means to minimize a given logic expression and why do we minimize the logic expression we minimize the logic expression to reduce the number of logic gates used in that circuit all right previously we've seen from the rules of boolean algebra the, 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 the uh, uh, formulas or, or methods to, to minimize it, okay? We, we've done that through Boolean algebra rules. But that has a problem, all right? If, you, if you're solving a question, let's say, and you reach a certain step, a certain point, and you forget the next formula to be used or the next step to be used, so what do you do? You don't know what to do, okay? There will be another person who will know a formula and who will, who will go one step further. There will be another person who will know another formula and who can go two steps further. So you don't know, okay? But here in the K-maps, you have a specific method from where you, you just derive, you just take out that expression and that is already the minimized form. No other formula is implied while using K-maps, okay? The simple logic expression that is obtained, we'll see how that is obtained, but once that's obtained, that's the minimized. You don't have to minimize it further. So that's the basic difference between that Boolean algebra rules and the K-map, so right? So we explain the K-map through an example. Let's say we start with a three variables K-map. So let's say we have a three variable function given as an A, B, and C, and the function here is F, all right? And you know how to, to do that, so 2, 3, 4, 3, 8 combinations, so we have 0, 1, 0, 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now group of 2, so 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, and 1, 1. And now finally group of 4, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 1, 1, 1, and 1. Right? Let's say the function value is 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and 1, 1, 1, 1. Let's say this is the value of the function, all right? Now you know how to minimize it through what? Through the, through the, 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 the Boolean algebra, okay? So if you want me to do it, I'll, I'll do it for you. Okay, we minimize it first through the, through the uh, logic uh, Boolean algebra rules, okay? So let's say the sub form, the sub form. Or let me write it a little over there so I have some space to, to write the main terms. I'll let it go. I'll, I'll then write it after this. Sub form. So what is the sub form for this expression? You know this min term is high. The, we, we take the high min terms. All right? So let me represent these min terms first. M0, M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, M6 and M7. All right? So I can write this function as M2, M4, 5, 6, and 7. So this function F could be written as a summation of main terms what? 2, uh, 4, 5, 6, and 7. All right. And now this function, let's say F is equal to, so now we write it, A complement B, C complement. You know how to write it. If, the function, if, if this is 0, you write it in its complement. This is the one you write it as it is, okay? Then A, 
B complement, C complement, then A, uh, B complement, and C. Then we have A, B, and C complement, and finally we have A, B, and C. All right. So, so, so now if you check, we have an A, B complement common in these two. A, B complement common, and we have, we have an A, B common in these two. All right, so the first one comes as it is, F is equal to A complement, B, C complement, and then you do what? You take this A, B complement common, A, B complement, and what remains? It's a C plus C complement. And in the next, you have a, an A, B common, and then what remains is again a, a, a C plus C complement. All right, and we know from C plus C plus complement is one, okay? And any A or ended with one is A, so you know that. So the function becomes what? It's an A complement B C complement plus A B complement plus A B. Now we have A common from these two, so this would be A complement, B, C complement plus A and B plus B complement. Now again, B plus B complement is 1 and A, A ended with 1 is an A, so we have an A plus A complement, B, C complement. And now we know from the formula that an A plus A complement B is what? It's A plus B simply, so you can neglect the complement. And the function minimized form would be A plus uh, B C complement. So now you have to remember this A plus B C complement, all right? We we'll need it. A plus B C complement. I went in a hurry through it because, because you already know what this is and what I was doing, okay? Now what is this K map? This K map is, 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 a, is an orientation of block sort of a form in which each min term is represented, okay? So I represent each min term in what? In a block form, I'll remove this. This is, let's say, the three variables. So, so, so this is represented as like this. I have a block over here, okay? And I have, I, I, I have let's say, a line over here. Okay, the, for the MSB is written over here. Let's say we have a three variable function. So A is the MSB, it's written to the right side and B and C are written over here. Now, what does this mean? So this means that this, let's say, and, and inside is the main term. Let's say inside we have M naught, M zero, okay? So how is that? Now have a look, how do we write M0? So, so I write it over here. I write all of them over here. So I have this, for this block for each one of them. Three, M4, M5, and for M6 and M7 also. So these are the blocks, all right? Now, in this case, the A is a zero, so you write the zero over here, B is a zero, and C is zero. So this is the representation of this M zero, and M zero itself is a zero. All right, now, in this M one, you have what? Uh, you have A is a zero, B is zero, and C is one, and, and this M one is also zero. Now, for M two, A is zero, B is one, and C is zero. And this M2 is 1, all right? Now for M3, you have A0, B1, and C1, and this itself is a 0. Now M4, A is 1, B0, C0, but M4 is 1. Then M5, A is 1, B0, and C is 1, and this and this M1, M5 is 1. For M6, you have a 1, 1, and 0, and this is a 1, all right? For M7, A is 1, B is 1 and C is 1, and this M is also 1. M7 is also 1. 
So these are the main terms. This is the way how to write it. The most significant bit is at the left rule position and the right and and, and, the, and, the, and the least significant bit is at the rightmost position, all right? Now, how do we combine them, okay? Now, these blocks are individually written. Now, how to combine these blocks? So, this is an important thing, all right? So, we see how, okay? So, let me remove this. Uh, the last, I, 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 let, I let it be. So, A plus B, C complement. You need to remember this. All right. So now how do we arrange it, okay? How do we arrange these cells? So, so let me write down, arrange the cells in such a way that only one variable is changing. Okay, now what do I mean by this? So let's say I draw it, okay? So I have, wait a minute, you'll need some time to understand it, okay? So this is, let's say, uh, four, 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 first. So total we have eight, okay? So we divide into group of four and four. All right, now in the upper one, let's say we have, we have the, uh, so, so I told you already that over here we have the A and to the right side we have B and C. All right. Now what do you do? You divide them into fours. One, two, three and four. All right. Now if you think this is a little bigger, so I can make it smaller. All right now. Okay. Now how do we fill? Arrange these cells in such a way that only one variable is changing. Okay. Now A, let's say in this side we have A is equal to 0. And for the down column we have an A is equal to 1. That's fine. Now B and C, so we do it in a combination form. So let's say the first combination is a 0, 0. Okay, so now this is a 0, 0, which means this cell now has become what? This has become M0, M0. Why? Because you go from the MSB to the LSB in this direction. So you have a 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, so this is an M0, okay? Now you have the next one is a 0, 0, 1. So you have a 0 over here, A, the B is a 0, and C is 1. So this becomes your M1. All right? Now the next is 0, 1, 0. So A is a 0, and B is 1, and C is a 0. So this becomes your M2. All right? No. This is not right, okay? You don't have to agree to everything. The problem, what's the problem? Can anybody of you figure out? You didn't figure it out. So, okay, so let me tell you. The problem is that you arrange the cells, I've told you, in such a way that only one variable is changing. Now if you have a look at these two adjacent cells, M1 and M2. So have a look, this B is changing from zero to one, and the C is changing from one to zero as well. So, which means two variables are changing and we cannot do it like this. So, I remove it. So, this is not possible. So, we take the next where we have M3 which is A is 0, B is a 1 and C is a 1. Now, have a look. C is the same and B has changed from 0 to 1. So, this is your M3. All right, now, now we go back to M2. So A is 0, B is 1, and C is 0. Now you have a look. This B is the same, and C changes from 1 to 0. This is your M2. All right, 
Now if A is 1, so now, now have a look. If this A is 1, B is 0 and C is 0. 1, 0, 0, so you have this M4. Now, 1, 0, 1. 1, 0, 1, this is an M5. All right, now 1, 1, 1. So A is 1, B is 1, and C is 1, which means again we have M7. And 1, 1, 0 is M6. So the last one is M6. Now if we had, we had, we had uh, 1, 0 over here. So, so from this, have a look, this B was changing from 0 to 1, but the C was also again changing from 1 to 0, which means, which was again not satisfying this property. So we had to bring the M7 first and M6 later on. All right. Okay. So now we are done with this. Now what do you do when when you uh, this this is the basic K map orientation. Now what to do with this? To do with it, we you need to group ones. All right. You you group ones. Group ones. You'll understand this when we, we when we are having an example on it, okay? So you group the ones. Now, how do you group them? You can group them. Uh, 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 all right. How many do you group? So you go in the powers of two, all right? Powers of two, but but you come from from the maximum, which means you you look first for a sixteen group for group of sixteen ones. If they're not present, you look for eight. If they're not present, you look for four. If they're not present, you go for two. They're not present. You can also have a single one as a group. All right. Now we're dealing with this. Is the three variables K map? So we don't have sixteen. So we can have a maximum of eight, which means all of these would be high, and you just encircle them and write down the function. Now, how is that written? So we'll see this through the same example. Okay. But how to group? So you can group in any manner. Okay. You can group it like this: uh, up and down, up and down. Similarly here up and down like this, up and down like this, let's say two. You can group from sides as well, like this, like this. All right, so let me write, how can you group? You can group up, down, you can group left, right, which means sidewise. You can also group the corners like this which means that this can be grouped with this m2 can be grouped with this m0 and similarly you can group this m6 with what uh, this m4 now this is called this is called map rolling okay map rolling you can group these like this as well all right, so you can group up, down, you can group left, right, and you can do the map rolling also. Okay, now this is a group of ones. Now, why do we group these ones? Okay, why do we group these ones? Why? So we group these ones in this manner to satisfy the property that we've seen from the R operation that A plus A complement is equal to one. We group these ones. Because to satisfy this property, A plus A complement is 1. Alright, and how is this property satisfied? So we'll see it through an example, okay? I take the same example and I've seen, we've seen it from the Boolean algebra, that is A plus B, C complement. Now we do it with, with, with the, the K maps, alright? Now this is what I've written in a great detail. I've tried my best to explain. I'll not be writing it like this again. I'll just be writing the main terms directly in it, okay? So see you in the example. Okay, now I hope this green color is visible, okay? So we've seen now this, how to fill it. So this A would be zero over here, this one over here. Now for the BC combination, we have a zero, zero. Then we have a, one, a zero, one. Then we have a one, one, and then a one, zero, all right? And these are the min terms I've already written from before. So let me fill it. M naught is zero. M one is zero. M two is one. M three is zero. M four is zero. M5 is 1, M6 is 1, and M7 is 1. All right, now that is how, 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 how you fill it, okay? We filled it, now we group it, okay? 
So, so how do we group it? M4 is 1. M4 is 1, okay? This is wrong. So now uh, look for, for a group of 8 ones. So 8 is not possible. Group of 4 ones. So this is the group of 4 ones. All right. And then this other one remains. So this one cannot be paired to any other one. So we pair it with this one. All right. And from this I remember a property that, that a single one can be paired more than once. Okay. A single one can be paired more than once. All right. So now you have a look. Uh, now uh, let's say this 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 this, uh, this is the first group of ones and this is the second group of ones. So I can write this function as one plus a two. All right. And now what do you do? You check for the variable that is not changing. The variable that is changing, you place a 1 in place of it, okay? So how is that? The function, let's say, if f is equal to. So in this case, now a is not changing. a is 1 for all 4. So I write this a dot. Now have a look. b is changing from 0 to 1, then from, uh, from 0 to 0, then from 0 to 1. So b is changing. Now c is changing from 0 to 1, and then from 1 to 0 in the end. So you, you write for b a 1, and you write for c a 1 also. All right, so you're done with the first. Then you place an R operator plus, and then you have what? In the second, now have a look. B is not changing, and C as a zero is not changing. So which means A is changing. A is changing from zero to one. So you write a one for A dot, and then you have B is not changing. So you write B, and then C is not changing. But C is not changing as a zero. So if you have a low state not changing, you place you write its complemented form, B, C complement, which means now this ended, so F would be equal to A plus B, C complement, which is in accordance to what we've written before. All right, now I talked about that A plus C complement property, so let me explain it in a shortcut way, because I think we have taken a lot of time. All right. So, 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 so let's say I do the second one. So if, if I take the second implicance, so I write the both, okay? Uh, so this would be what? This is A is zero, so I write an A complement, uh, B and then a C complement, all right? And then for the next, we have an A is one, so we have an A uh, and B is also high and C complement. Now you take the A, A complement C is common in these two, so A complement, no sorry, uh, uh, B and C complement is common, okay, so B, C complement is common and we have an A plus A complement over here and you know that A plus A complement is a 1 and anything ended with a 1 is the same thing back, so if you have we directly obtain the B, C complement. In the next videos, in the next examples I'll be not using these ones as well. Okay, I've explained this now over here, and I'll be directly writing the the the, the what the uh, so the variables that are not changing. Okay, so that was all about the introduction to the Carnot maps. I know we've taken a lot of time. This is a long video, but this is a very important video. You need to watch it thoroughly. You don't understand it, you watch it again. Okay, you have any question? You ask it in the comment section. All right. And that's all for today. See you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah, in which you will be seeing some examples. Till then, take care of yourself and everyone around you. Goodbye.